finishing our discussion of the Apostles' Creed and how it relates to our identity as Christians. And for this one, I want to talk about the Christian church. What is it? Who is it? How long has it been? Um, in the third article, we have the phrase, the Holy Christian Church, the Communion of Saints. In the hymnal, it's broken up into two lines, and so we often think about it as two different things, but it's one thought. The Holy Christian Church, the Communion of Saints. It's one whole thing. For many years, for most of the church's existence, the creed did not start with I believe. It started with we believe. We believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. It's only recently been changed. I'm not going to get into that. But the fact that it started with we indicates something very important. We have a shared confession. The Christian faith is not me by myself with my Bible and my Jesus. It is us in corporate worship, in corporate confession of our faith. It is something that requires other people. We use lots of different metaphors to talk about the church. We talk about the church as the body of Christ. We're all different members of the body with different gifts and personalities and experiences, but Christ is our head and where he directs, we follow. We talk about the church as we've been grafted onto the vine of Christ and we are supposed to bear good fruit. We talk about the church as the bride of Christ. We have been redeemed and made pure and we are anxiously, joyously awaiting the marriage feast, of the lamb and his kingdom, meaning that we are joined to Christ forever in the resurrection of the body. The church is not, as, is not just this thing that we go to, it's, and it's also not just us in our lives. The church has existed before us, it will exist after us. And it helps to remember that we're part of something bigger than us. We are, we're part of something that by the grace of God will outlive us. And in spite of our best efforts, we'll continue to confess Christ's holy name. So to remember that our identity as Christians is not one that we partaken by ourselves. It is something that we do communally. It's why we commune. We have Holy Communion. And it's not just the people at the table with you. It's not the people, just the people at, at your church or at any church that's having church at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. on a Sunday. It is the church throughout time and space. It is people that have already died and are at the great feast. We're communing with the dead in that sense there before us, but we're celebrating with them. We're celebrating with those who are not yet even a part of the church. The church is, our identity as Christians within the church is something that I think we often take for granted, but let us remember that we have been made part of this holy blessed thing because of Christ Jesus. And as the church, we go forward preaching and teaching and giving glory to God.